Hello everyone. I'm happy to welcome you to more Summit Series Hotel Edition. My name is Martin, Global Head of Hotel and Leisure at Moore. And in today's panel, we are going to give you an insight into a range of hot topics from the world of hotel and leisure, starting from prevalent industry trends, followed by operational challenges and ESG in the sector. ESG principles become more and more prevalent. Uh, you are you are operating like a vast amount of hotels uh, globally, so that must be a challenge. I would say that since the days of uh, Carlson Residor uh, um, um, and even Radisson Sass back in the day, the companies had a very strong position on sustainability. You know, and having rebranded as Radisson Hotel Group, we we created three pillars. It was basically think people, think community, think planet. It was kind of what we already kind of builds into the ESG ethos, you know. Um, I would say that I have some stats here that's always interesting is that in the last 10 years, RSG has reduced its average energy and water footprint by 30%. We've set an ambitious 30% carbon reduction target for the next five years. And we have an ambition to um, have become net zero by 2050. And these are all publicly stated ambitions. We also would have noticed that the Radisson is a leading member of the Sustainable Hospitality Alliance, which were one of the leaders, the key leaders. I think there's some other hotel companies as part of that as well. So I think to be able to, what Alex was saying is that to be able to make these um, initiatives work, the hotel companies themselves have to believe it, not just say it, it has to be part of their actual heritage and their actual culture, which we have. Then, the ha then that has to come into the actual properties you're signing or the properties you're converting, be they lease, be they manage, be they franchise, be they tower block in the city centre or a sprawling 50 hectare resort. It's got to be the same principled approach. We have many owners now who are already, which is some brand new hotels, they want full certification immediately. They don't want to wait, they want to be part of it. So I think all the steps that we're taking are like everyone, small steps, but again, as part of our heritage, it's there and we have to deliver as well. There are so many, many other hotel, hotel sustainability yeah. basics that we bring into our day-to-day -day life me, in the hotel. To me, it sounds very, very, very good. And uh, <laughs> but I'm uh, not an expert Alexa. on it. I'm also yeah. trying to, but they, these, we all have to become experts on it. That, that's the point. Yes. So to me, uh, to me, it sounds great, but I would like uh, to ask Alexa to confirm if these goals are good goals. <laughs> the first steps you have to do is educate, so understanding. Then you have to um, integrate, so you have to put it into your business plan. It has to be into your growth plan. And then the last step is making sure that uh, the elements and understandings that um, the hotels are looking at, such as the certain elements that you've noted, fall in line with whatever the uh, international requirements and frameworks are. So 100% is an important, um, cares an important aspect in this because at the end of the day, ESG and sustainability reporting is here for one reason, and that's because we need to preserve the things we are so quickly using up today for future generations. And that's where sustainable development comes from. So what we do today is going to not impact us, but impact our children's children. And that's it. It's long-term thinking. So it's lovely to hear that the Radisson has put in public state, publicly stated um, sustainability elements. And I think that uh, it's a great indication of what's to come from the hotel industry, particularly if you're able to sit here and reiterate those and provide your reduction in your uh, certain ESG elements, that's something that makes us really hopeful to see. But one thing that I'm seeing a lot of in the US related to ESG is people are really looking to go to a place that focuses on it and are willing to spend extra money there was a survey that, that I had read that 70% of people are willing to spend more money to go to somewhere that is marketed the fact. So I think the marketing dollars in marketing, the aspect of ESG is going to be important. Uh, 
and that's where maybe the costs are going to increase. But I think COVID pushed to the forefront savings and obviously other aspects, whether it's, you know, not cleaning rooms as much, not fixing a med, you know, not restocking shampoo and conditioner, you know, but it's also given them the ability to say, hey, we're, you know, a little bit more cost conscious, we're not laundering as much, and we're not uh, washing the towels. And this is all sustainable, which is given um, a quick ability to hit that some of that environmental, but it's going to be the marketing of it, because people are really looking to, you know, and not worried about spending extra, they want locally sourced food, they want the experience, they want it all to be following exactly what Alexa and David said on the ESG side. So um, it's it's interesting how that's definitely pushed that to the forefront and how there's been a little bit of a shift and people are willing to spend more for it. Great. Thank you. Thank you all. And uh, I just want to say that it was fantastic to have a global brand, a global ESG advisor, an auditor partner and a hotel advisor at the same table uh, talking to each other. And uh, I would like to invite our, our viewers to get in touch with any of us and also to visit moreglobal.com. And thank you very much and, and see you soon.